Hey everyone, welcome to another video. This video is going to be my haul for the month of May. This is all the makeup I bought best month and we're just going to go over it. I'm going to tell you some initial thoughts. Let's get into it. So this month was a little weird because at the start of the month I was filming a lot of videos. I've done a lot of reviews but at this point like moving is coming closer and closer. I'm gonna move at the end of June and there's a lot of things to do. A lot of things to take care of. A lot of shopping to do. So at this point that I'm at right now I'm not buying a lot and I'm not trying a lot and I'm kind of like cutting cutting down like trying to buy less makeup to not make me stressed so i've still quite a bit here but it's really from the start of the month and at this point to also kind of tell you what you can expect from me i'm gonna be uploading less i don't want to put that much stress on myself to still film in the environment that i'm in knowing that soon i will have my own filming room and everything and it will be so much easier so why am i putting myself through this right now that is a question and i don't really know so that's kind of like the context of what i have here in front of me let's get into it first up i tried a bunch of new kika milano i tried the little mermaid collection so the little mermaid collaboration collection they came out Wait, they came out with this like two weeks ago. It's a very like mermaid inspired, but not too like in your face Little Mermaid. This is the all over highlighter 02 reflection on the sea. It's what I'm wearing today. It's a beautiful baked jelly highlighter in a stunning kind of like pinky, but also slightly warm shade that I feel like is gonna flare a lot of skin tones. It is absolutely gorgeous. I really love how this looks on the face. I've been wearing it a bunch. Then I also got one of the blushes. This is the Radiant Baked Blush in 02 Rouge. This one I actually wore yesterday. It is such a gorgeous, perfecting, pinky, like warm pinky baked blush. It just glides over the skin it blends into the skin it looks so natural and flushed and beautiful and it's just this really gorgeous formula that i love from kika milano like these two cheek products are amazing and i've been really enjoying them then i also got two of the swirl lip glosses i didn't get a lot of different things from this collection because it was a little bit more expensive and um and some of the things felt a little bit like repeats but these two i feel like they haven't had this in a collection yet so these are the it doesn't say on the packaging what the shades are but i believe i had 02 and 03 but i don't know which one is which because it doesn't say it on the packaging but these are very kind of like milky natural lightly pigmented lip glosses you have to watch a video to see me lip swatch both of these but they look really cute on the lips they kind of have a shimmer throughout it but it's definitely not a glitter it's definitely not chunky you don't really see it on the lips they smell kind of they smell kind of sweet but nothing too crazy i quite like them they are not the most like thick juicy hydrating glosses they feel a little bit more light on the lips so if you like something a little bit more natural a little bit more like Thin, then these are actually really cute glosses i quite enjoy these then i think the thing from this collection that i've been using the most is the little mermaid contour and highlighter duo stick in 01 so this one has a contour kind of like a bronzy contour shade that is really easy to use is really easy to blend it is just a very effortless type of product it's not sticky on the face at all it doesn't keep feeling creamy it's really like this cream to powder finish almost but it looks very natural and still very creamy on the cheeks then we also have the highlighter side i think this highlighter is gorgeous very natural but but still very glowy it really melts into the skin i think this is a great duo and i would highly recommend it then i also bought three of the new 3d hydra glosses i did a video with just a new like limited edition glosses and also some things from the regular line that they added these are just very nice colors they are very cute i have the light shade in 43 which is a little bit more soft and natural and then i have 44 and 45 which are a little bit more pigmented they add a little bit more of this brown shimmery shiny color to the lips a very cool shades a little bit different 
the for me for my collection this is supposedly a dupe for a fenty beauty lip gloss i believe it's a one called hot chocolate or something this is supposed to be similar i think these are really cute glasses i just wanted to try the new shades but i already knew that i really like this formula and i also tried one of the ph reacting custom color ph reacting blushes from their regular line these are new they have two shades this one and a little bit more of a pinky one so this one is 01 but it doesn't say the color in it this is not ph reacting not at all i don't see any of that happening what i have to say about this blush is that it is very pigmented it is a bit harder to use than some other blushes that i've tried from kika milano i don't think this is going to be my absolute favorite it's not a bad blush but it's just like what they promise that is not what's happening and it's also a little bit too hard to use for my liking and it's just there are other blushes that are just so easy to use and this is just a little bit less that then we have the freezing dew fresh effect face fixing mist this is a nice sprayer it is a nice spray like the, the formula of the spray is also nice i have nothing bad to say about it it's a nice spray i like it it does have some perfume in it it is scented but but i don't know how much of the scent is actually in it like on the ingredient list i'm usually a little bit careful with scents i try to avoid them but with fixing sprays like this there's always some scent in it is hard to do but this is quite a nice one i would say it is one worth trying out if you're looking for a mist like this then i tried the long lasting liquid eyeshadow so this one i tried just on my own not in a video i was just curious to see if this would work as an eyeshadow base so this is the long lasting liquid eyeshadow in shade 01 so this is a matte liquid eyeshadow and it is like sticky it is pigmented it does dry down kind of powdery it is it has everything in it to be a good eyeshadow base and i feel like it works quite well but only for a limited amount of hours like my eyeshadow will stay on nicely for like six maybe eight hours which is not bad but i want my eyeshadow to stay forever and ever and ever i don't want to go out for the day and feel like my eyeshadow is falling apart at the end of it so this works well if I film a video, if it's a little bit later on the day and I do my makeup. It does stay on better than a lot of eyeshadow primers that I've used. And I think for a lot of people this is going to be a very nice eyeshadow primer. Because it does have a little bit of stick to it. That will make your eyeshadows pop a little bit more. And I've been looking for something to make my eyeshadows pop. Because the only eyeshadow primer that I found works for me is see-through and everything that i have tried that does have pigment to it it just creases and this does crease after a little bit but it's better than most ones so i'm still gonna be using this i'm still gonna be testing it but i wish it would have been even better then i tried the full coverage blurring powder foundation in 080 as a bronzer and it didn't really work out it is too dark it is too pigmented it is very full coverage i don't know if another shade would actually work because i feel like the shade range is a little strange and it's not like i can just go one shade down and it's gonna be a bronzer shade for me so i'm kind of like giving up on this idea of a blurring powder foundation as a bronzer i mean i also have so many beautiful bronzes in my collection so do i need to make this work i just wanted to try something like this once in my life just to see if it would be better than a bronzer but i don't feel like it is i cannot really talk about how this is working as an actual foundation because this shade is so deep i can't really say a lot about the coverage of the finish or the finish it's just I have to apply so little i have to work for it so hard it's just hard to review this product really it's just the wrong shade and i think i don't have much more to say about it it's my fault of course like i'm trying to use a product as something that it isn't and it's the wrong shade so yeah i it's all me it's all me then i also bought another shade of the unlimited double touch liquid lip color i bought the shade 120 and i haven't tried it yet but i recently reviewed it is shade 111 and i told you that i thought it was so patchy it didn't work it didn't apply well it was just a nightmare but i have seen so many people loving these loving these so much and i looked at the website as well kind of like looking at the swatches can i see can i find differences can i find where this is coming from and it did feel like the shade 111 that i've tried before 
that it looked patchy on the website. It looked more patchy on the website than the other shades. So I was like, you know what? If this is actually just a dot, if this is just actually a patchy shade and the rest is nice, I need to know. I just want to know if this is actually... Okay, so I had to wait for about 10 minutes. I completely lost my train of thought. I was talking about the unlimited <laughs> unlimited touch. Um, I think that this shade is probably going to be better. And I feel like if it is really that good and I just bought a dot shade, I want to know. So I'm going to be trying this out. Just haven't done it yet. Then I have the Juice Tint Lips and Cheeks by Kika Milano as well. I feel like this is the last Kika Milano product that I have here in front of me. <laughs> yes, there's a lot of Kika Milano on my channel. So this one, I actually really liked on the lips. I couldn't really get to make it work on the cheeks on the cheeks but i have to try it out a little bit more on the lips i thought it looked really pretty i did leave on like the whole stain that i applied in the video but i feel like if you like take off that top layer with water then it's gonna last even longer and look more beautiful for longer but i am not really like a stain expert i'm just getting into it like i feel like like five six seven years ago we had a lot of stains i didn't really try them out so i'm just kind of gonna experiment with this one this is shade 03 i think it is really cute so far at least on the lips on the cheeks mm, not so much yet oh wait wait i have one more kiki milano thing this is a beauty roar ph matte liquid lip color i told you in my new makeup updates that i bought another shade of this one i already reviewed it so i'm not gonna come back to this and review it but this is shade 05 and this is a mauve shade because i really really love the formula of this because it is so creamy it is so comfortable it looks so juicy on the lips this is kind of like a like almost like a terracotta mauve it's definitely a warmer mauve and i just wanted to have another shade i love kika milano lip products so much and it is just so dangerous for me to even try them because i always want more shades because they just keep doing these amazing things pretty affordable and i keep getting points that i have to spend on something so then i buy another lip product but yeah i really like this formula it is very creamy though it is not like a drying like completely powdery dry matte liquid lipstick at all it doesn't have any ph reacting qualities to it as well don't know why they keep calling everything ph it is not doesn't do anything with your ph it's just a liquid lipstick but it is a very nice liquid lipstick so i can kind of like forgive them for doing that whole marketing ploy that I don't know doesn't add anything for me does it add anything for anyone let me know let me know do you buy things because they are ph reacting please please let me know like i am not judging you i am not trying to judge you i just want to know what is going on do people actually love this is this actually a trend that comes from the consumers or is this a trend that comes from the companies i just want to know okay then we have some bh cosmetics i bought some of their like new summer makeup line i bought the summer heat cream bronzer this is a really nice cream bronzer it's just a little bit on the yellow side for me so it's not my perfect one but it's really like glowy juicy it goes on really creamy but it does dry down to this non-sticky finish like it is very much a my skin but better kind of bronze it's just not my perfect shade personally but if you love like a yellow leaning bronzer then this is really nice i have this shade fair to light and then i also have the cheek wave powder blusher this definitely is a little bit shimmery it is a very like warm pink shimmery blush a little bit on the pigmented side i don't feel like this is amazing like, it is okay. I think a lot of people can like this, especially for the price. But for me, I don't feel like this is the best blush ever. I don't feel like this is going to be a new favorite. It is okay. It is just okay. And then we have the Full Heat Matte Bronzer in shade San Diego. It is just... It is very warm. It is very pigmented. And with this one, I also just feel like it's the wrong shade. And with the formula, it is just okay. So I feel like maybe if you have a deeper skin tone than I do, maybe if you have warmer skin tone than I do, maybe if you have a warmer undertone, then this will work for you, but it didn't work for me. This is the lightest shade. So I think that's a little bit of a strange choice for their range to make that the lightest shade. Like they have only three shades and then the lightest shade is this. Of course, I cannot complain like a lot of bronzers will work for me especially if they're leaning a little bit neutral cool tone i can wear them so not complaining it's just a little bit different than what we usually 
C. And if you're around my skin tone, then this is not gonna work for you. So that's just a warning. So this is the Juicy Gossip Lip Oil in the Cherry shade or the cherry scent this is a very sweet like very candy sweet if you love candy sweet juicy plump kind of like thicker gloss lips like not too thick but just not the, that really thin watery gloss and these are really nice i also have the mango one i couldn't find it right now it's in the bag somewhere i do really like this formula it is just very hydrating the scents they are kind of growing on me but you have to like it they are intense i did lip swatch both of the shades in the video that i did on this and i really loved how it looked i loved how it felt it is a very nice formula i really like it i even gave one of these to my sister for her birthday so that says something um yeah I've, uh, I've enjoyed those. So I would say the best thing for me from the new BH Cosmetics is the lip oils and the cream bronzer, even though that is not the perfect shade for me. Then I also... Wait, I, I forgot a Kika Milano product. This is the Glow Up Face and Body Highlighter. So this has a pump. This pumps so much but the actual formula of this is quite nice. I like the way it looks on the skin. It's very natural. It just it's a pretty product i do have to try it out a little bit more i do have to test it out a little bit more but because of this packaging it's just a little hard to use like it's almost like it forces you to use this all over your face and body with just one pump so i kind of have to see if there's another way i can make this work so i can take just a little bit less so i can use it just on my cheekbones or whatever so it's nice but you have to use a lot like it forces you to use a lot so i don't know if this is going to be a favorite but I still have to test it out. Okay, then I tried some flower nose. I tried flower nose for the first time. I tried out their Moonlight Mermaid collection. I was just head over heels. I fell in love with this packaging and I just wanted to try out the brand because I had never really heard of it, never really paid any attention to it. Then they came out with their sneak peeks and I just loved this mystic mermaid vibe. And just something started like wheels started turning in my head can you say it like that like gears were set in motion and i was like you know what i'm gonna try out this brand so i bought the eyeshadow palette in stellar sand i've actually been using this bunch i really like the formula in this the shimmers did get a little bit of hard then but i can still pick them up so it's nothing like that i really dislike um i can live with it i really love the packaging on this i really think this is very like beautifully designed but not too thick still easy to store so i really like that sometimes brands that are really about the packaging forget that you also have to store things and that some people have a lot of makeup and it's not gonna fit in a drawer but this is really like i like it i like this like i'm impressed with it then i also got another eyeshadow palette i got two of the eyeshadow palettes this is 04 mermaid's dream and this is more of a pastel eyeshadow palette the shimmers in here are nice, but they are a little bit more on the subtle side. A little bit more of this accidental sparkle, as I called it in the video. It's not like full-on sparkle. It's just a little bit softer. I really like the pastel shades in here. I really like this deepening up shade. I have really enjoyed it. I've actually used this kind of like as a neutral, and it is stunning. Then I also got two of the jewelry lip glosses, which turned out to be stains. I didn't know it. I didn't read the description apparently so this is shade ge04 and this is a very interesting lip formula so this is more of a mauve shade it does have a stain like it goes on as like a very watery gloss but it ends up being a stain it smells very sweet like very candy sweet so you have to like it the other shade that i got is kind of like this warmer pink a little bit of a brighter pink same packaging in the range there are different packagings for different colors but i got ge05 and these two have the same packaging so it's kind of like a brighter pink shade if you want to see lip swatches it's in the video i still have to make my mind up about these a little bit it is just that they are very very watery and i like something that is a little bit more hydrating a little bit more thick almost like a little bit juicy they are very very watery and because of that they kind of disappear on of the lips like the actual shine disappears off the lips and then it's really about the stain and the stain of these is quite subtle it's not really like wow you're wearing a lip product it's very subtle so i kind of have to see 
how I actually feel about that. All right, once again, a little interruption and I just keep forgetting what I'm talking about, but I just have to see how I really feel about these. I'm not sure. Like I've seen people really love these, but it's just a little different than what I expected. And I feel like something like this from Kika Milano, it has a little bit more pigment. It has a little bit more oomph to it. And maybe I like that a little bit more, like like that with a gloss that actually lasts on top. So I'm kind of like, iffy about that then i also have the jewelry blush from the moonlight mermaid collection i got the shade 05 siren melody so this packaging really really gorgeous it is stunning absolutely stunning the actual blush is very like cool tone pink but we also have some peachy pink some lighter pink this is a very nice blush it's very matte though i'm not really used to such matte blushes so even though i really like it for what it is it is very very matte it is kind of like a setting powder but it is colored into a blush and i feel like a lot of blushes nowadays are more on the natural look side this is very very matte so once again still kind of making up my mind i think the thing that i love the most at this point from the moonlight mermaid collection is that more neutral eyeshadow palette i've been going back into this a bunch like the mattes are really nice the shimmers are stunning then i also got the makeup remover gel for lips haven't tried it, haven't really felt like I needed it for anything. Then I actually got two lip products from the Circus Collection. This is, I believe, discontinued. They did a buy one, get one off or buy one, get one free. And these products from this collection are no longer there. And I'm kind of sad about it because one of these I really enjoy. And I kind of wanted to tell you about it, how much I enjoy it. But now it is no longer available. I also am not like familiar enough with the brand to know how fast they discontinue things like I, this is really the first time i tried them heard from them so i wasn't really aware of how long ago this was actually released or anything like that but okay i can still tell you about it because who knows in the next collection they will do something similar to this i can totally see them doing this i feel like with these brands that focus on cute packaging that focus on cute packaged collections like kiko milano but also flower nose i feel like these brands stick to certain products like the products they know the formulas they know but then they change the packaging and that is kind of like how they save some money to give you the cutest packaging so i feel like this might come back so i'm still gonna like tell you about it so this is the circus satin lipstick i believe and this is shade bubble tea co6 and i wore this in a video recently so this is a very beautiful kind of like very soft red nude and it just looks stunning it is very see-through it is very glowy and it just looks so natural and gorgeous and stunning on the lips i wore this in a video like I wore this in my new makeup updates video and I just love my makeup in that video and it's just absolutely gorgeous. It feels amazing. It looks amazing. I just love how see-through and just kind of like a natural flush on the lips it is. I just really loved it. What I didn't really love was the matte lipstick from the Circus Collection that I also tried. This is shade Cream Tart M02 or M02 and this one is very strange it is very like liquidy it is like not liquid but very like smeary very like laying on top of the skin very like traveling all over the lips and very much enhancing any imperfections i didn't like the effect on this on the lips i didn't like the feel of this on the lips it just felt very very thin and slippery and not in a very nice way so i didn't actually like the matte one but i really really love the satin one so i'm still glad that i tried some extra the products with this moonlight mermaid order but yeah didn't love everything all right a random product now we're getting into the random products like by the way with the moonlight mermaid collection i also had like so many different free accessories that i got i also got this little blush brush that it works actually better than i was thinking it is quite cute it works quite well it's a little bit more on the i don't know scratchy side but for some blushes that kind of works i also got a mirror i got some different things that i'm not gonna get into in this video i 
randomly bought a Catrice lip oil from their limited edition secret garden and this is shade true bloom I had been eyeing this collection but I didn't want to order it online I didn't want to pay any shipping I just didn't feel like it was the collection for me to buy the whole collection and review the whole collection I just want to cut back a little bit on makeup reviews on spending a lot of makeup it is possible it could be possible theoretically for me to review every Essence and Catrice collection and it would probably do like quite well like they bring in the views to be honest but I just feel like I have to like draw the line somewhere so sometimes I'm not gonna review the new Essence and Catrice maybe maybe at a point I will do that when I have more time to actually get into these products more so I bought this lip oil I think it is okay so I actually only bought this lip oil when I saw it in store and I was like okay now I don't have to pay the shipping I can see it in real life I can just buy one thing and see how I feel about it and just buy it kind of like for myself but of course still update you on it this smells really really sweet like so incredibly sweet I don't know if I like it and the doe foot is really small which doesn't apply it the best like it takes some time it takes a little bit of effort to apply it the actual lip oil is quite nice like it is a little bit more on the thinner side it is less of this thicker glossy thing that we see a lot it's a little bit more oily i think a lot of people are actually gonna like it i don't know if it's gonna be my favorite product especially because of this scent um i'm glad i tried it because i've been eyeing it for a bit and now i know I know what it's like. I feel like it's just really hard for lip oils to beat out like the absolute favorites that I have in my life right now. Like I have some beautiful lip oils. I have almost used up one of the Lunar Beauty lip oils. That's like my absolute favorite with the scent and the feel and the look. And this just isn't, even though it feels a little bit more like a traditional lip oil almost i don't feel like this is for me personally the best then i decided to pick up the new hollywood beauty light wand easy highlight blush from charlotte tilbury in the shade pink chasm sunset so i was not expecting to pick this up and i just got it in a few days ago i haven't tried it yet because i was kind of thinking should i film anything with it but i don't really have any plans to try like full face of new makeup or anything like that i don't think I have enough for that and I don't think I have enough time for that so I'm kind of like debating what I should do with it let me know if you want to see anything with it I also feel like at this point there are quite a few videos out on it but I really felt like there was something interesting about this because it's kind of like pinky but it's also kind of warm and I feel like this is the type of shade that I will really love that I will really enjoy when I have more of a tan that's also why I'm not in a hurry like in a crazy hurry to start using this product because for now i think this is going to be a bit too warm and too punchy and look just maybe a little crazy on me but i feel like once i am tan then i'm really gonna enjoy this because then i kind of like a more punchy warmer blush but it's not orange so i'm kind of like i can see myself using this in the summer i'm kind of like i'm kind of like saving it up for that moment but uh, of course i have to try it before that but yeah, I just saw this, I believe, on Morgan Turner and the way it looked on her. And I believe she does have a cool undertone. The way it looked on her just convinced me to try it. So I'm gonna try it. I don't know when, but I am. And then I also got the Cream Wand Trio. So this was available on Boozy Shop. And I just watched a video by Angelica Nickfist where she was talking about her poofs like all the poofs that she has and which one she likes the most and she said that she really likes this set and once again i just got this in i haven't tried it yet it's it was just this thing that i wanted for myself that i knew i was gonna use that i knew that i wanted to use but i didn't really have a video in mind so she said that she really liked it but that the bronzer wasn't really her shade but i'm a little bit more cool toned i'm a little bit more light than she is so that actually can convinced me to try this so we have a bronzer in light we have kind of like a peachy shimmery blush which looks amazing and not like something that i have in this formula and then we have this liquid highlighter that also looks really really cute so i actually can't wait to try this i'm just kind of like when should i what should i do maybe i can save it up just a little bit and just try some random things together 
I don't know. But apparently at this point where I'm like, I don't want to buy too much makeup. I only want to buy things for myself and don't really like stress out about the channel at this point. I buy poofs. I don't know how, I don't know why this happened, but it is what's happening. I think this is the last thing that I want to show you. So I actually got the Kayali Yum Pistachio Perfume. When this was first announced, I was so into it. Like the idea of pistachio perfume, like gelato pistachio perfume, just it seemed like perfect. The perfect thing, the perfect perfume for me. Then I saw some reviews that were like, it's very fresh, I don't smell the sweetness, I don't smell like the yumminess in it. And I was like, I don't know, I don't really like very fresh scents. But then Angelica Nickfist tried it and she was like, it's not even that fresh, it's a little bit more heavy. You do smell like the rum in it, you do smell that it is sweet, but it's a little bit more grown up because of the rum. And that just convinced me to go for it. Like, I cannot smell this in store. That is the difficult thing about it. I can get it here in the Netherlands, but I can only get it online. So it was like, I had to be a bit sure with just the descriptions that it was gonna be for me. That's also why I bought the small one. But I have been really enjoying it. It is very, like, sweet, pistache, and like rum. Like, you smell all of that. And when you first apply it, I can imagine that you're a bit like, unsure about it like what are you actually smelling what is actually happening but then once it kind of like meshes with your skin when it kind of like dries down and you smell like the hard notes of the perfume it becomes more like not heavy but a little bit more like yummy and rummy and it just starts smelling so good i've been wearing this a bunch actually it is very different for me it's like the type of perfume that I've never had, but I really like it. It is very, it's like, I feel like it is just something different. And I feel like the thing with this is, it does smell like what it tells you it is. It does smell like pistache ice cream, but I feel like a lot of people are kind of like expecting it to smell like the taste of pistache ice cream, but it smells like what it actually smells like when you just would have a bin or like, which is, how would you call it? Like a tub of pistache ice cream. That is more what this is, but with the rum. Like it's so interesting. I think if you're thinking it's gonna be really fresh, it is not. It's a bit more heavy, but not too heavy. It's definitely, it's definitely still a summery scent, but I can see myself wearing this more to like occasions or going out to eat. So I'm actually quite impressed with this scent. And I'm quite excited about it. I feel like this might be a new favorite. It's just very different. All right, so this is everything that I bought in the month of May. This is everything. I hope I didn't forget anything. With most of these products, I do have a review up or like a first impression up. I'm gonna come back to these as well in the new makeup updates. I'm gonna try them more. I'm gonna try and link some videos down below so you can see these in action. And I'm just gonna like dive into these products and even and even though I'm not really filming a lot right now, I'm gonna be testing these out and I'm gonna try to update you pretty soon on these, but just focus on this right now and don't buy too many new things. And then that's gonna be everything for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. And then I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.